Hey, you guys, this is Tamaya Robles. I am a credit repair specialist, expert. I'm the owner of Fix My Credit Now, E50.com. I am the host of this podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. Welcome, welcome. So today we're going to go over five credit repair myths, <laughs> just so you guys can know the truth. In the past, I did bring this up before, but I wanted to be a little bit more detailed, um, a little bit more specific as to addressing these myths and just putting it out there on the table. Um, so some of you guys have doubts about credit repair. <laughs> it is a shady industry. I've acknowledged this multiple times. I'm not here to run away from that, but there are some facts and there are some myths out there. So I just kind of wanted to go over five of the most common ones. So one of the first ones is that people feel when they get credit repaired or get their credit repaired or sign up with a company or go to a specialist that they're instantly going to get results. And that's not realistic. In reality, credit repair is gradual. Okay. It's the legitimate companies like myself <laughs> that don't guarantee anything. You're not supposed to guarantee anything when it comes to credit repair. I'm not supposed to guarantee that you get a credit score increase. I'm not supposed to guarantee that your credit is supposed to be done within a certain time frame. Anyone that says they guarantee anything with credit repair, especially instant results, permanent results, that's usually a fraud. That's a sales pitch and they will not be able to provide that to you guys. So that's actually not true. I do, however, get results quickly. I can say that uh, based off of my method of disputing, I've taught you guys a few of them in the past videos, but I have multiple ways of disputing items that leads to rapid uh, results, but I don't guarantee that. I try to tell my clients, give yourself, if you have basic credit repair issues, Give yourself a minimum of 90 days. Uh, and if you don't see anything, then have some sort of concern because at the end of the day, we're at the mercy of the credit bureau. We don't control the score. We don't control how fast they move, anything like that. But if you're not getting any response, not seeing any results, at least within 30 to 60 days, then something's off a beat. But yeah. It's not instant. I don't know where that comes from, right? Have I gotten quick results? Yes, but that's not common, okay? Another myth is that when you do credit repair and you sign up with a company, that all the negative information is completely erased and that's not necessarily true. <laughs> so credit repair companies can't remove the inaccurate information for you. What we're doing is we're disputing it with the credit bureau. So we're putting dispute letters. Some of us do it on your behalf and we mail them out on our own. Some of my clients have stated that some companies that they've been with, that they would create the letters, send them to the client. And it was the client's responsibility. Either way, whichever works for that company, no judgment, but at fixmycreditnow 850com we do everything so you don't have to worry about it. All you got to do is just check your account and check and see if you got results. But that is something that we need to be abundantly clear on. Erasing negative information is not something that we do. We don't have a system where we're going in and just wiping things clean. No, it's a process. We have to dispute. We all have different ways of disputing and just be aware of that. Now, another myth is that negative items can be erased permanently. So I get this a lot, even with my active clients, even with reoccurring clients, clients that, um, or even associates that know me, that know what I do, they ask that question a lot, especially when a client is one of theirs or to share a client where they refer the client over to me and I have to fix their credit and they come back. They want to know, are these items that are going to be deleted permanent or are they going to pop back up? So again, we cannot guarantee anything. Okay. 
No credit repair company can guarantee the complete removal of all negative items from the credit report, and we can't guarantee that it's permanent. Now, the truth behind that is this. Realistically, you have rights and so do the creditors and the data furnishers. So I've shared with you guys on many occasions, your rights, your rights, your rights, because I am a factual disputer. However, I don't discuss too much in detail because I'm not on their side about the rights of a data furnisher. Their rights are this, they can put information on your credit report. However, it has to be 100% accurate. Now, if your credit repair expert, such as me, is a factual disputer, you're disputing whether or not the information is accurate. And if it violates the, the consumer's rights or not under the FCRA. So if it is in violation, the creditor can remove it or agree or just not fight and just remove it from the credit report but they can put it back on if they've made necessary changes and that the information is 100% accurate. So let me give you an example. So I've removed items before and I've had the account come back. Usually it's not instant, it might be years, okay? I've had clients come back after they completed their services with me and say, you did a great job. For some reason, this account came back up and we don't know why. And also, most li likely it's still reporting inaccurately. They're just trying to be sneaky about it, but it's not a common thing. But I have had clients where the account came back on and they did report it correctly this time. I was able to still get that account removed. So if it does happen to come back up, there are ways to get the account removed. But it is not a guarantee <laughs> that your specialist, that the company you choose to go with, removes these accounts permanently. That's That doesn't happen at all. However, side note, I do have a hack <laughs> that I use. Some of y'all might be familiar with it through Experian. And I will say for sure, that's always been permanent, but that's a special case. And again, I don't advertise that this is a permanent thing. This is just something I noticed. And when I got trained on the hack, it was advised to me and proven to me that when I do the hack, that any deletions that come from that are permanent. And I understand why. So that's a little different. Still, I don't advertise that anything's permanent. Now, another myth is that paying for credit repair is unnecessary. <laughs> so y'all know I have talked about this so many times. I have clips on it, whatever, whatever. I have so many views when it comes to that. Now, the reality is a real credit repair company, such as Fixing My Credit Now, 850.com, are legitimate businesses. So you're paying for a service. This service is no different than your electric bill and your local electric company. It's no different than your telephone servicer, whether it's T-Mobile, AT&T, whatever is out there. This is a service that you're paying for and it's not free. So nobody's going to give you free electric, free water, free rent, free mortgage, whatever. It just doesn't work that way. Okay. Same with credit repair. You're paying for a service. Now everybody's fees and services may be different. One has nothing to do with the other. So if you go with one company and they're saying, oh, I do it for $1.99 and another one saying I do it for $1,200 you got to pick which is best for you, but there is a service. Okay. There's a fee for services. Now, some individuals will say, okay, I'll do it for free. As we all know, nothing in life is for free and you get what you pay for. <laughs> right now, other companies such as myself, I lay it on the table. When you have your consultation with me, I base your price based off of how heavy the negative items are on your credit report, what I need to do, so on and so forth. But communication is key. And I am very clear on what I'm charging you for. So paying for credit repair? Yes, you do. It's not free. I get in a lot of these Facebook groups. I post up. People are always talking about, oh, you could do it yourself. Yes, you can do it yourself. Go to fixmycreditnow850.com. 
I have plenty of DIY information for you. I have free game for you. But when it comes down to the services, you do have to pay, right? Some more than others. Now, if you have any issues with that, <laughs> keep it to yourself, right? Because this is already discussed. But for those that are serious about the services, you set up a free consultation and then I'll take care of y'all and we'll talk about services accordingly. Now, the last myth I want to talk about is the guarantee, the guarantee. We, we talked about permanent and all of that, but the guarantee of deletions of negative items, which kind of is similar to what I was just saying about things permanently being deleted. But the myth that we can guarantee that the negative items are will be deleted, that should not be happening. We cannot guarantee the removal of specific negative items on your credit report. One thing I can say I can guarantee, but it's not deemed credit repair, is your personal information. I have a client now. She follows me on YouTube, signed up with me. Shout out to her. She's a really cool lady. But um, she has personal information that is outdated. And I think she took care of it and she needs me to take care of the rest. I can guarantee those items being deleted, but technically that's not credit repair. That's not deemed credit repair. And if you want to correct anything on your credit report uh, that's under your personal information, like your name, address, employer, date of birth, things like that, go to my website and download load a free personal identifying information letter. I think I forgot how I worded it, but it's personal identifying information. Anyway, go check it out. It's under DIY, print out the letter. You guys do it at least a couple times a week. So that's cool. That I can guarantee because it's not credit repair. It's just you telling the credit bureaus over and over again in writing, Hey, this is my name. Delete everything else. This is my address. Delete everything else. That's not credit repair. The credit repair portion comes with the negative items or the positive items. So sometimes people need positive items removed, but that's also, I'm going to throw this in there. Credit repair companies should not be deleting anything positive except upon request. And you're probably thinking, well, why would somebody ask for that? You never know. People need things differently. So a couple years ago, I had a client who had student loans and it was a high dollar amount, super high, dumb high, but it was positive every month. And this was before they did the COVID forbearance. Her student loans was, were perfect and there was no need for me to remove it. It was extremely high. However, she was trying to purchase a home and that was considered a, a, a negative against her DTI, her debt to income. So that needed to be removed. So I had to remove that positive. It killed me to do it, but it had to be done so she could get what she wanted. Now, those are, I said five, but I gave you six. And I mostly gave you six because I felt like five seemed a little repetitive. <laughs> but for the most part, those are the six myths. And hopefully that clarifies some things for you. If you're still confused, if you still have questions, or you want me to go into it a little bit more, just leave a comment with your question or set up a consultation with me to talk about it, but only set it up if you're trying to move forward with cr your credit repair services with us, um, that you're not setting up a consultation to see if I really answer the phone and we'll talk to you because I will. <laughs> okay. Only if you're serious and ready to move forward or you need to structure a plan. So just to wrap this up, we've uncovered the truth about the five to six, right? Credit repair myths just so you have a clear understanding about how this died, how this industry is. And then before I go, before I wrap everything up, I just want to say that I appreciate you guys. And I want to make it clear that I say this during every video. I appreciate you guys for listening and watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. It means a lot, not just because the YouTube algorithm and the <laughs> podcast algorithm, but you guys are really taking heed to what I'm saying. You're signing up with me. You're talking to me. That means a lot. I get new subscribers literally every single day. And I've only been doing this for a couple of months. So that's like dumb crazy. And I appreciate that. In the meantime, continue to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to set up your consultation with me. Check uh, the link in the description and sign up for 30 minutes. I totally got y'all. 
understand credit repair it is a fee. Okay. So don't get all new and testy with me when I give you a price and you want me to remove heaven and earth off your credit report for $1.99. dollar 99. Doesn't work that way. But in the meantime, you guys, I wish you the best of luck on your credit repair journey. Take care.